Before this video starts, if this guide helps you out in any way, shape, or form, like and subscribe. Also, comment down below if you have any questions. Let's begin. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys if Lugger GG is safe. Let's go ahead and begin with today's tutorial. We're going to be scanning this for viruses. We're going to be doing everything. We're going to be reading the reviews. And we're going to finally make our conclusion if Lugger GG is a scam or not okay and i'm also going to give you guys a little story at the end of the video because i've actually uh one time i've actually talked to someone who actually either owns this or like i guess kind of works on this some one way or the other so we're gonna get into that later but first i want to i want to go ahead and show you guys you know what they're selling and all of that you know to show you if it's safe or it's a scam now if you go here they'll be selling mm2 knives mm2 guns this little marketplace they've built you know it's very simple to build one of these actually you know they just list they just i don't know if they they've coded this themselves it looks like they've they've maybe partnered up with something like a like a wordpress type like you know build where they just you know you know they built like like a little marketplace a catalog a catalog type thing instead of a, a coded website but either way one way or the other that, that's irrelevant right but yeah it looks very smooth they've actually designed it pretty well and uh it looks pretty well there's customer support which is quite nice i don't know if that's just uh like fake or if if they they probably actually have it but i don't know how fast it is i haven't tested all that out but overall it looks quite you know promising it looks quite good the prices look quite cheap it looks very well made the website looks very smooth very clean very professional very simple very to the point but this isn't about if the website is good or not i already know the web you already know the website looks good right it looks pretty good but the, that's not the the point here so first what we're gonna do we're gonna look in the reviews then we're gonna scan this if this is a virus or not we could also look into the code of the website to make sure it looks clean so i'm gonna click inspect element and i'm gonna quickly read some of the code here and yeah so it looks like they're using some sort of a yeah, so they're using yeah, so they're using a, a Shopify template as you can see from the code. Yeah, so if if we're talking about if it's a virus or not, this is one thousand percent not a virus. There is no chance that this could be a virus. Zero percent, zero percent chance. This is one of the most safest websites in the world. Why? Because they're not even using a real uh, a code thing. They're not. They're not. They're not going to index HTML and actually building this thing out. They're they're using uh, what's it called? It's like WordPress. It's like Wix, WordPress, those ones where like Squarespace, where you like drag and drop. But they're not actually coding it uh, on files. They're not actually coding it themselves. So to answer the point, point number one, it's not a virus it can't be a virus it's impossible for this website to be a virus impossible second of all is if it is it safe since they're using shopify which is a publicly traded company if you guys don't know what shopify is now if you guys don't know what you guys might be getting confused right now what is a shopify but now nah, it's one of those it's like wordpress and wix it's like those website building programs this is for like i guess more of like selling things like e-commerce and all these other things things they're selling but if you look at uh shopify for example they have refund policies and you know you can't it's like amazon but it's like trying to sell on amazon or ebay like you can't just build a store and start scamming people like even if you try to sell like fake things i remember i knew a guy that tried to sell fake things straight away they banned his store sent them an email you can't sell these fake uh branded logo things you can't sell fake things on it you can't do that why because they follow all the rules and regulations if you can't even sell a fake thing on it there's no way you could get away with scamming people and ripping people off with uh 
would, you know, fake, like, oh, I'm going to give you the knife and the, or the MM2 gun. And then, you, and then they buy it and, the, and you don't deliver on your promise on the in-game items that they promise to trade you. The MM2 guns, knives, and what else? What else are they trading? I mean, they're trading a whole bunch of things here on their in-game in-game items. Even if it's in-game physical, it doesn't matter. Obviously, this is in-game items. And uh, it doesn't matter what it is. They can't scam you. They can't scam you. Because Shopify will get in trouble with their payment processes. And they'll be flagged from uh, from ICIN, which is... Uh, what? Listen, th these are, there's a whole bunch of organizations. I'm not going to get too in detailed because it's very boring. And I don't want you guys to click off the video, to be honest. Going into details with all of these, you know, laws and regulations. Because I'm sure you guys didn't come for that. But my point is it's impossible for this guy to actually scam you. Because if you did ch attempt it, his website will be down in a minute. It won't even stand 24 hours. Like, they, he, would have, he wouldn't even be able to take his money up, by the way. Yeah, you don't know. If you get so many refund requests, they don't even let you take your money out. So that's the way Shopify works. You know, you can't even... Oh, it was, I think it was PayPal blocking or Shopify. But one of the two. If you if you try to scam people, they're going to block your money. I'm just letting you guys know that. So they block his money, not your money. But yeah, so whatever you give him, you won't be able to take it out if he did scam you. Now, in terms of... Uh, in terms of his reviews here, excellent reviews, so you could see, there's no way this guy is scamming. No way. Uh, someone said fast but expensive. I mean, dude, you've agreed to pay the price. How could you pay an expensive price and then write a bad review saying it's expensive? Dude, you don't buy it then. <laughs> you literally saw the price while buying it. Unless this guy is so rich, he doesn't look at the price of the things he's buying. I don't understand what he's complaining about. <laughs> I don't understand. So you saw the price was expensive and you decided, I'm going to buy it. Then you complained that it was expensive when you saw the price? Come on, dude. Get out of here with that nonsense. That's the most nonsense thing ever. I mean, I don't know, dude. That sounds like such a stupid review. <laughs> but yeah, overall, the prices do seem cheap. You know what I'm saying? I was going to scan. I'm still going to scan it. Just for you guys that are super curious if it is a, if it's a scam or not. But yeah, if we go to Virus Total, if we copy this link, it's not going to be a scam. Trust me, guys. It's not going to be a scam. So we could... Scan it here. Come on. There we go. So let's copy this. Scan. And it's safe. You can see. Now, if you guys are so suspicious, you could also just buy it off eBay. Okay. But it's not worth it. I recommend actually using this. But yeah, overall... Quite a good site. I actually talked to one, someone who worked on it or owned it. You know, they're good people, I would say. They're quite good people. They're quite good people. Like, I didn't see that much of a red flag about... I mean, they looked honest. They just looked like an honest group of people, to be honest. And, yeah, I know people... I know people that know them. I know many people. I know, like, at least five, ten people that know these guys that own this thing. So, yeah, it's not a scam. Would I recommend it? You know, you guys could do it in your, like, I guess your own risk, but it's obviously not a scam. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.